This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Right, I suppose it's uh, time to go to work. <laughs> Disarm system in 20 seconds. System is now disarmed. Yes, we're in the new house. I just, uh, we've got our security system installed, which is good. It wasn't working the other day. The, uh, the screen broke, but it's fixed now. I'm just putting my shoes on. Where's my keys? Right, I've got my keys, got my glasses. We're good to go. Let's rearm. Select arm system type. Silent. It's really early. Um, someone's in the house, so stay. Let's go. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. Lock. Alright, let's go. Right, it'll be a bit it'll be a bit louder now. Right, I've turned the um, exhaust on quiet mode already because I don't really want to be waking up neighbours. So I can't get much quieter than it already is. Sorry neighbours, do apologise. We, um, <laughs> after only being here for a day, my wife was speaking to the new neighbours and uh, I think one of them said something about, oh, your husband's got the one with the new, with the red car that's loud. It's like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Anyway, morning everyone, morning, welcome to my channel. We do have GoPro footage in this video. Do not fear, there is GoPro footage. I've charged them all up yesterday. Uh, we're ready to um, to get going today. We're going to Leyland in Lancaster. That's what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna to drive to work. I will see you when we get there. Should be a bit lighter out as well. Okay, we're here. I can hear the seagulls laughing. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Um, Need to get some fuel on the way back home tonight because the the fuel light has just come on. Anyway, let me go and show you the truck we got loaded last night uh, from Tetbury, and we're loaded with pallets. Let me show you. Okay, here we are. White truck, red trailer. I think we've got 24 pallets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I lost count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, it's too early to count. <laughs> Why can't I count? Look at the straps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. Twelve, either side, twenty-four pallets. And then um on the back we've done the old crisscross. Cause uh it's gone right to the back, even though it's only twenty-four pallets, it's gone right to the back of the trailer. So uh I crisscrossed the back as well. Happy days. Right, let's go put the keys in, do some daily checks, and then we can crack on. Like I said, there will be GoPro footage. Next time you see me, we'll be on the GoPro. Oh, didn't you didn't see me on the GoPro, didn't I? Got one facing me, and we got one facing out. <laughs> um, yes, I do uh, want to thank you all for being so patient. Um, you know, whilst I move house and stuff. We're, we're, we've, we're moved in now, as you saw earlier in the video. Um, but there's still an awful lot of unpacking to do. <laughs> um, not to that line up. Yeah, there's there's loads of boxes that need moving around and sorted out and repositioned and things need emptying and things need putting up on the wall. And Yes, loads, loads and loads and loads of stuff that still needs doing. And things need to be built, like we got an Ikea wardrobe, which was delivered like two or three weeks ago now and it still hasn't been set up <laughs> um, so that needs to be done at some point at the moment all our clothes are in suitcases on the floor so it's far from glamorous at the moment we need to uh, need to do a lot of stuff to the house I'm going to crack on next time you see me it will be well and truly light out and um, we should be just around the corner, the corner rather, from, uh, from my delivery point so I will see you in a little while see you in a bit Right, hello guys. DVSA checkpoint. I just went past a DVSA officer. You know like when you always go past them and you're like, don't pull me, don't pull me, don't pull me, don't pull me. <laughs> um, yes, we are in Leyland. 
We're only a mile and a half away just over from our delivery point. I did call them up and I was correct. So the main entrance for the public is on something else, it's on another road, something, something road, don't know what it's called. But it looks way, 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 way too tight for a truck. Um, so I had a look and it looks like there's another entrance on Fiddler Lane, which still makes me laugh. Fiddler Lane. And um, so I phoned him up and that, yeah, I was right, it is Fiddler Lane. And I was also also correct in the sense that it's tight. I said, do you want me to drive in or reverse in? They said, it's up to you. I said, if I drive in, will someone watch me back? Because I'd rather not reverse back onto a roundabout. Reverse, I'd rather reverse off a roundabout than reverse onto a roundabout, if that makes sense. And they said, yeah, someone, someone will watch me back. So I'm gonna drive in. I think that's the best bet. Drive on in and um, then someone can then watch me back. I'm pretty sure he said, yeah, someone will watch you back with the forklift. So I therefore assume the forklift is road legal. No idea. Not my job to know. <laughs> um, I don't know whether I said or not, but once we are tipped from here, we're gonna have to stop, we won't make that. You went for a red light. Once we are tipped from here, um, we are going to Tatton Park and uh, picking up some toilets and then that's going to Swindon and then probably from there, seeing how we get on time-wise, I would imagine we go get loaded somewhere, I'm not sure. My boss did say, yeah, yesterday, because I got this loaded yesterday, and he said, it's up to me, I can either make my way up the road today, which was yesterday, or go back to the yard and go up in the morning. But bear in mind, if you go in the morning, you may not have enough drive time to get back. I think I will, I'm gonna have plenty of drive time to get back. Um, so I decided to go home last night, just in case. It's happened before where he said that, and uh, I've not gone home because he said I should be home the following night and then I'm not home the following night either. So if there's a guaranteed chance of being home, like there was, for example, like last night, I'd rather take it, take that guaranteed chance of being home. And then uh, if I'm not home tonight, so be it. I might not, for all I know, um, which is fine. Um, that's, that's to be expected, but I might be home. I might not, I don't know. I, I think we're planning on being home, but it can all, it can all change. <laughs> Ignore change. So yeah, once we tip from here, we're going to Tatton Park, get a load of toilets, and then taking them down to Swindon. A couple of my colleagues may also be there. They had to go get loaded in Chep this morning at like four o'clock or something this morning, really early. Um, depending on how long they were there and how long it takes for them to get tipped, we should hopefully be arriving at Tatton Park pretty much a similar time. So we might see them there, we might see them there. But half a mile away from now from our direction, direction from my destination, I'm losing my speech. Half a mile away from our destination. Um, fingers crossed we can get these off relatively quick. Um, if we get them off within an hour, that should be half past nine because it's half past eight now. And then an hour, just over an hour, I think, to get down to Tatton Park. So half past 10. So if we say 11 o'clock, should be in Tatton Park by 11, leave Tatton Park by 12. Uh, we should be back in Swindon by three o'clock, I would have thought. Um, but we will need to have a break somewhere as well. We've got to take that into consideration. And also loading times. But I'm hoping we can get a break in at Town Park whilst, um, whilst waiting to be let in. That is what I'm hoping. Right, double roundabout. So, first one straight over. Second one is the one we either need to reverse in off of or, or reverse back onto. There's trucks behind me. I'm just, yeah. It's, doesn't look suitable, to be honest with you, to, to be reversing in off of. No. It doesn't look suitable to be reversing in off of at all. So we shall drive in. And he said it's the first entrance on the right, so this one here. So it looks like we are going to be offloading on the road, because there's no way we're getting that. Just need to reposition myself so I'm tight against the fence on the right hand side. I don't know whether he's going to offload me on the left and then move over and do the other side or whether it's going to be a case of doing it from the drive. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll uh, reverse back and then uh, go and speak to someone and find out. We need to get tight to the right. Tight to the right. Just in 
case other traffic does want to come down. Tight to the right. I reckon they're going to offload me like this, and then I'll move over and they do the other side. That's what I reckon. That's what I reckon. Right. Let's go find someone and uh, tell them we are here. There's a car coming down now. Yeah, there's enough room. Let's go find someone. See you in a bit. I've uh, I've walked quite far down. I can't see anyone. So I head back to the truck, make another phone call, and to say that I'm at the back. And hopefully they send the forklift over. <laughs> well, I've just uh, just given them a call. They said someone's going to come over now. So happy days. But yeah, I reckon they will tip me where I am on this side, and then I reckon I'll move over, probably move forward a bit as well, up to these bins or something, and they'll do the rest on the other side. And then it's a case of reversing back onto that roundabout. Looks so like as long as someone stops me, you can see it's quite busy. No way is it safe to uh, reverse off of it into this lane. But if someone stops the traffic, I'll easily be able to just swing around there a little bit and then go around there, I've got to do a hole so I can go back out that way. So yeah, I'm just waiting for them to come over first, confirm I'm in the right place, and then I'll, uh, I'll undo the straps. Okay, we are currently being offloaded now. We are in a situation where we have to keep moving backwards and forwards because the lane isn't big enough. And actually, it's quite a busy lane. Just had one car come down. There's bags in the way there, so if, I, if anyone wants to come down, I have to go back and basically back out of the way. In front of me is literally a dead end. So um, yeah, I've, uh, I've got to stay in the truck. Good thing with the flatbed is once the straps are off, that's it now, I'm done outside. I've got the paperwork signed as well, so I can just sit in the cab now and wait um, until he's done. I can move back and forwards. They're doing the right-hand side first, which is the opposite, opposite way to where I parked, and then I think he says something about reversing all the way back up to the, the roundabout or something, the line, so we can reach the rest. But, uh, yeah, and, yeah, he said he's going to go out with a full lift to stop the traffic from me, so hopefully... Um, should be nice and easy. From here we've got to go straight back to Tatton Park. Right, we have now moved back and on the right hand side of this drive, as you can see we have backed all the way up to the roundabout, we're not actually on the roundabout, just up to the line. Um, and yes, now the left hand side of the trailer is being unloaded. Once he's done this, I would imagine we drive forward again, just to get a better angle because we need to drive, like put the trailer down that side of the roundabout on the left there, look. Um, hang on, yeah, yeah, that is the right way. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, we've got a back down. Okay, where's my hand? We've got a back down there on the left, and then we can go around the roundabout. It's a bit hard when you zoomed all the way in. Yeah, back down there on the left hand side, and then spin round. And then uh, ETA to Tatton Park will be, we'll leave here in about 20 minutes. So we're looking at about 20 past 10. Did say 11 o'clock earlier, so bang tidy. Outboard. Lovely. All right, mate. Thank I'll you very much. Big That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right. So as you can tell, we are tipped. Put me hazards on just to uh, help people realise I am a hazard. Let's go on back. stops traffic not wearing a seatbelt because I am doing a maneuver a bad maneuver it's not often you reverse under a roundabout there we go Seatbelt on. Okay, so that was all right. That wasn't too bad. Got out of there, no problem at all. And uh, yeah, we can crack on to our destination. Sat nav does say 20 past 10 as well. It says 19 minutes past 10 to be precise. So uh, that was good guessing earlier when I said 20 minutes. Yeah, it's um, everything's going to plan, which means 
at some point something is not going to go to plan <laughs> um, like I said we do need to get a break in as well um, we'll be able to get to Tatton Park on my four and a half hours drive and then when, when we are there we'll have to get a break in before or after we are loaded there's loads of space on site it's a massive field so um, there'll be absolutely plenty of room for us deliver that to Swindon and then tomorrow this won't be on camera because I have been I've been specifically requested for a delivery tomorrow because I've been before and I was super friendly and super helpful apparently so they've they've actually asked for me specifically which is always nice um, and then the guys we do the work for mentioned that I make videos and that if they wanted I could make a video whilst I was there uh, but they politely declined and said no no filming so I can't film tomorrow which is fine. I've always said, if someone says I can't film, I won't film. It's, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, I might try and be cocky and find ways around it, like the range. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it then comes back and bites me in the ass. So <laughs> it's just no point. If someone says no, don't film, I end filming. Uh, that's my new rule. So, um, yes, I can't film tomorrow. But I've, I may be getting loaded with it tonight. Uh, I say tonight, this afternoon. So if we manage to get back to Swindon Light by four o'clock, uh, which I would have thought we could be, then there is a chance that I'll have to go get loaded at Tetbury um, later on this afternoon. Although it could also be from the sawmill, if it's all bags. So I'm, I'm like 98% sure it will all be bags. So it could come from, from the sawmill, which would be a bit better because it's a bit closer. But, I mean, overall, we'll, uh, we'll do as we are told. Um, but that is something we might be doing later on in this video. I'm not entirely sure just yet. For now, we just got to head to Tatton Park and uh, and get loaded there. So I will see you in about 49 minutes, according to my sat nav. But it'll be uh, in just a couple of seconds. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we are around the corner from where we need to be in Tatton Park. And I do believe this lorry is probably going to the same location. I would have thought. <laughs> I don't know whether he's loading up with the same stuff or not. Um, that's yet to be uh, answered. I've spoken to Kieran. He's already in. Uh, we might see him on the as we go in. He might be coming out or there might be a queue. I don't know. Uh, but Kieran is in there. And also Rich is going to be turning up around the sort of same time as me as well. So, uh, yes, we may see some colleagues in there in the IV guilds. Need to turn right down here. Oh, oh, Cleo has had a little, a little crash. I think he may have taken the turn a bit too quick. Oh dear. Someone call Kev T. <laughs> Someone call Kev. Uh, not everyone will probably get that. Kev T is a friend of mine. He um, he also vlogs and he does car recycling. He picks up cars that broke down. In case you didn't know who Kev T was, just yeah, search him on YouTube if you like. Kev T, K K E K E V T E E. That's it. Anyway, um, we're only a mile away from our collection point now. It's, it's a bit of a, a tight turn to get in. Um, it's like a metal gate, which is only big enough just big enough to get a lorry through but also we've got to make a right hand turn so the trailer doesn't quite line up in time um, so you kind of need to go over to the left a little bit on the crossroads jackknife it almost just to get the trailer turned around in time so uh, when we make the turn I will back off to make this lorry uh, or give this lorry driver a bit more room make it a bit easier for them and I believe we will be coming out a different way actually. Kieran did say um, we might be coming out a different way. So I don't know what way that is. I don't think it's over there. We will see. I don't even know what they do here at Town Park. It's obviously some sort of festival, but I don't know what. No idea. Talking of deer, there was loads of deer in the field the first time I come here. Loads of them.
Okay, so it should be a right turn here, I believe. This lorry's gone quite slow. Is there something wide coming? Oh, yep, yeah, there's a tractor coming down. That car's got right over as well, mate. Mate, you don't need to get over. <laughs> Only the tractor does. Tatton Park, concealed entrance, 300 yards on the right. That is the entrance we require. This lorry's about to turn right. Go on, start indicating. I'm indicating. There we go, he's indicating. Window down so I can concentrate. Car is right up my backside. Oh, car's indicating right as well. So you can see the lorry driver's gone a bit to the left. Swing it in, jackknife it almost. Is he going to make it? What's this blue car doing? Let the blue car go. I can't commit to my turn until he's cleared off. The red car's now on my way. Good way to oncoming vehicles. He's also turning. Oh, oh they're letting me through. Like I said, it's just a little bit snug. We got it. We got it. We got it. What's he getting out for? The guy's getting out. I ain't getting out, I'm just going. I know where to go. Flower show, that's what it is. I completely forgot what it was. It's a flower show, I remember now. I remember, I remember. Is that the exit down there? Not sure. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Oops. Empty. It looks really empty. But yeah, this is where normally lorries queue up to get in. But um, we'll probably be going inside to uh, to pick up the stuff. I'll uh, I pull up over here on the left soon, and I'll make a phone call to let them know I'm here. But yeah, it's proper sludgy look. Security boat's coming over to me. Morning, mate. PTL. PTL. Yeah. Well. well, I guess the lorry in front's PTL then as well. So we'll uh, we'll have to wait till the lorries in front is loaded. I don't know who it is, but they're uh, they're loading with the same stuff by the sounds of it. Not a problem. Not a problem. So yeah, we're here. Put the old IVs on. It looks like, like I said, we've, when we dropped them off, we just dropped them off out here and they must have just put them in where they needed to go. But there's no toilets out here, so I would imagine we're going in. I would have thought. He's going forward. Am I going to be asked to go forward? Looks like he's just being asked to park on the left. We shall do the same. Lovely. So, um, yeah, just sit tight here for a little while. Wait for either a phone call to go in or until we're ushered in. That's how it goes. See you once uh, once we're inside. 
Ah. Richard is here. Hi, Richard. Go say hello. Right, we are uh, just going in now to get loaded. We need to. Uh, we still need to get a break in as well after we're after we're loaded. So we'll try and get one in as soon as possible. Yes, I know my drive time is almost reached. It's flashing up saying drive time almost reached. Um, we're on 4:20, so we've still got another 10 minutes of driving time. Not an issue. We get loaded and then park up on the way out somewhere. Cheers, mate. And uh, I would imagine it won't take too long to get loaded. I would have thought. I've said that now, could be in here for an hour. <laughs> if we are in here for an hour, we'll have an half an hour break in here whilst uh, waiting to be loaded. But I imagine, if I had to guess, I would say we're gonna get loaded uh, straight away. In fact, wouldn't be surprised if it's already on the teleander ready to go on the bed. But yeah, I've been in here before, it's just a flower show, so you can see all the all the patches look. Bless me. Bless me. There we go, look, yeah. I think the other lorry's in front still. Just strapping up. I think he's just doing his curtains up, I think. Or he's just undoing them. <laughs> One or the other. Okay, it looks like we've got disabled going on. Uh, yeah, he's loaded. He's just on his way out now. Look, he's just jumping back into the truck. There's one on the teleander ready to go. Like I said, that there might be. Lovely. We're just timing it that we... Uh, I'm trying to keep my momentum so we, we get to where he is as he moves off, is what I'm hoping. Or he could take a while to leave. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to do it so that we're in, uh, we're in line. There we go. Right, let's go strap up. Oh, that's not lovely either. Right, we've got one on. We need to go and put the other ones on. Gloves off. Follow them. Yeah, it looks uh, looks pretty empty in here, so I don't can't see it being too much longer. And they should have all their stuff out then. A bit of a uh, obstacle course, <laughs> slightly to the right, slightly to the left. Here we go. You're never going to stay on this uh, metal stuff for the entirety. You just got to try and stay on it for as long as you can. But there's no way a truck and trailer can make the turns without going on the grass a little bit. 
No way. Thank you. So I believe we're going out here and turning left and then reversing back, I think. Or it could be just staying on this bit of metal. Let's go strap this one up. Right, we are loaded. We're not fully strapped up, but we're uh, we're not on a public road, so we can still move. Uh, they need me out of the way so then they can get the next one in, which is rich. I'm gonna go out on this main, not main, but it's what they call the main drag. Um, I can then strap up out there and then once I've strapped up I can get a 30 minute break in so that is what I'm going to do let's get out of here first cheers mate let's mine these walkers Lovely. Right, now we can turn right, make our way out. Right, so yes, we just pulled over on this bit of stretch of road and we've uh, we've strapped up. So we've got three tanks, one disabled and one normal pod. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straps used for this load. So uh, yeah, now we can start our 30 minute break and then we can carry on down there. I think it's wide enough for trucks to pass. If not, <laughs> then we'll have to move. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go put it on brake now. And uh, if anyone does want to uh, get past me and they can't, then uh, I'll have to move and start again. But might be all right, might be tricky, I don't know. We'll see. Right, brake's almost over. I've got a couple more minutes to go and then we can move. No trucks have gone past yet. So hopefully um, the brake's up before one tries to get past us. Um, we should be hitting Swindon around quarter past three-ish. Uh, don't know how long it'll take us to tip. It depends on the trucks are there. I uh, would have thought we'd be the only one by the time we get there. So, quarter four. Then if we were to go tip from there, we're talking half past four. Here comes my colleague now. Great timing. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, yeah, literally, I only need one more minute. Say bye to him. Um, we're about the same speed, so yeah, he's going to be in front of us now. But he got past us, so that's good. That's about to finish, and then we'll be on our way. Turn to 30, turn to 30, come on. By the way, yeah, we literally stopped on 4 hours and 29 minutes, um, where we are now. Uh, so we literally stopped. Um, well, we couldn't have gone much further. Anyway, break's over now, so let's go. I'll see you when we get there, see you in a bit. Okay, we are just around the corner now from PTL. Get these toilets off. We've, um, we literally, as our colleague Richard overtook us, we literally left 60 seconds later and in traffic and just general speed of this truck, <laughs> I've managed, managed to overtake him and uh, he's about a couple of minutes behind. Um, it was a good three hour drive and I managed to beat him here, so that's fair enough. First come, first serve. <laughs> um, so hopefully it's clear inside and we can just go straight in, fingers crossed. 
in we go let's get these off quickly and then we gotta go to franklin drive not chep we gotta go past chep and there's a building there called wrc never been there before we've got to go get loaded don't know what we're loading with and we're going to a place called wickham festival in the morning that's what we are doing tomorrow Here. It's a bit tighter than normal, but we should be all right. Lovely. And then we just want to reverse back. And get these straps off. When it finds reverse, thank you. Right, let's get these straps off. Uh, no messing around because Rich is not far behind. See you in a bit. Right, we've been here like two minutes, literally two minutes. Got two lifts off already, only three more left to do. Straps are off. I'm just putting the straps away now. And uh, yeah, another three minutes or so we're about here. Hopefully, uh, we would have only been in here for like literally five minutes. Yeah, so pod's taking off. Just getting them off now. I'm gonna go and uh, go to the toilet. Rule number one of a truck driver, never pass up the opportunity <laughs> to go for a wee. You never know when your next one will be. Okay, we're all empty, so uh, let's go to the next collection. See you in a bit. Right, as you can see, it's raining. It's a bit wet. Uh, we're nearly loaded now with our next collection, which is these. It's like plastic boards to go on site, which is where we're going, we're going to a site. He said, if I were you, I would strap them up well because <laughs> they tend to slip so when someone says that you take notice so got two on the bottom two and then three on the top one obviously they're all pressing down so five straps per row uh we haven't finished with this one yet we've got a couple more to go on the top and then another three row over so 20 straps we're using on this load we'll see how it goes if it starts to slip and slide uh I'll pull over and I'll put some more on. I do have more if I should uh, if I should need them. But uh, I think I'm hoping <laughs> five would be enough per per row. It seems to be okay. Hopefully, and obviously we're not that tall either. So yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, I haven't been able to film anything um, until just now because it's just go go go. Uh, as soon as you put some on, I've been uh, strapping up. So I'm a bit a bit hot and sweaty. But he just paused and I've just caught up, so that's why I'm doing this. Once we're loaded with this, uh, I'll go back to the yard and uh, that'll be the end of the video because I'm not gonna film this tomorrow, I don't think. I might, well, maybe I will, but if I do, it'll be a different video. Uh, I thought I was doing something else tomorrow, so if that's still the case, then um, there won't be much stuff to see tomorrow. And if I put this in today's video, then it's just gonna be too long, so. Yeah, but at least you see the load at the very least. That's it, we're done. Put another train pass in. Uh, yeah, we're going to jump in the truck now, we'll take a couple of photos and then uh, we'll crack on. So that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, got the GoPros back and also this is the first video that I've edited in my new office. So uh, there will be an office tour eventually. Uh, I need to get it all up together, but there'll be a few months before I do an office tour. Get it up and running how I want it and uh, I'll show you in the office, which is actually pretty cool, I must admit. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everyone, do appreciate it, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, I'll see you soon.